this? The fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. He finds the fun guy, we find out why he's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. To find out about fun guy, then you could do worse than give this guy a try. He's the fun guy guy. Right down. Oh, hello. Well, look what I found. Hiya. This is brilliant. How does it feel about this find? Whoa, he seems really excited about this one. Let's check it out on the Joyometer. Never found one of, in this condition of this size before. Quite rare in the north of England where I live, the northwest. But I'm here down near Sherwood Forest. I'm not in Sherwood Forest, I'm just in a local campsite. Just looked in the woods at the background. Anyway, too much information about a place you're not bothered about. Let's talk about this. The false death cap. Hi, hi, this is me. Some key features, we'll start with the cap. This is the most important one for me, from a, from, a, from a mile off I can tell that it's going to be this, because it has this like, very lemony yellow. Oh, uh, citrina, Amanita citrina. So citrus, uh, lemon I guess, I'm doing the maths myself there. Well there Huffy, let me take the reins. Amanita citrina, well, it's right, that citrina means lemon yellow. It's from Greek though, not Latin. Uh, you see, more than one string to my linguistic bow. Now, the Amanita, well I ain't no mountain mastermind, but that could be from the Roman mountain in Sicilia, Mount Amanus. Boom. Um, it just has this faint yellowy, greeny hue to it. A bit like, I used to have a glow in the dark hearing when I was a kid, and if anything you've got that's like glow in the dark toy, it's got that kind of colour about it. Uh, the cap's completely that colour. You've got these chunks of veil remnants, which is the bit from the, the cap when it was in its sack, which we'll come to in a minute. Hang on. What's that? Oh no, 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 that's a false dead cap. What so is this? It's not like my other. I got this on flea market from Twitchy Pete. Two for ten quid. Made in China. Fake. False death cap. In fact, do you remember those fake Gucci slippers I got you that lasted about a month? Same fella, Twitchy Pete. Okay, let's go underneath and have a little look. Gills, crowded gills, um, pale lemony yellow ever since. I don't like using the word lemon yellow because it looks nothing like a lemon, but a pale yellowy limey green kind of colour uh, and crowded uh, onto the stipe, this smooth white stipe stem that gets a little bit thicker at the base here is an important feature this is another big one is they've got the veil remnants you've got this ring they call it a pendulous ring uh, and then down to a really key feature this is important if you're trying to ID your mushrooms uh, is to make sure that they're not coming uh, uh, bursting out of a big sack, which this did. The Volvo sack here, here it was like an egg that it grew out of, and this is the whole base. It's a beautiful specimen to see, and, and you've got the remnants here of this, this egg sack that it sat in. Gorgeous, gorgeous thing. <gasps> One last big key feature. Mega, mega this, and I'm with a friend at the moment. Hiya, hi friend. Hiya. Hiya. Uh, and I said, mate, check this out, raw potatoes. And the minute he smelt it, he said, raw potatoes. And he was totally taken by that, and it worked. So let's have a... Hang on, gills more. Yeah, the gills, if you ever smelling, get underneath. The gills can give you more of a smell. Totally banging raw potatoes. So if you don't know what that is, if you're a youngster, get in the kitchen, cut yourself a potato in half and think, falls death cap. Enough potato talk, time to move on. Yeah, can you move on now, Ali, please? Now, just to add a little bit of a dimension of action to this, just as we're leaving the site, we found some youngsters. Do you want to come with me and see them? Come on then, I'll leave that just there for now to do its job. I'm going to leave that to leave its spores. Okay, we'll leave that the way it would be found so that it can drop its spores and carry on doing its job. Beautiful. Follow me. Oh, it's like an adventure. Are you excited? Young specimen. <laughs> this is so 
so exciting, isn't it? But you're absolutely, put your coffee down. You're absolutely, here we go. Round there. <laughs> I'll edit all that bit out. Oh, it's catching it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's catching the sunlight beautifully. Look at that. I wanted to get down close with the young specimens so he's in shot with them. Yeah, can you get down close with these ones, Ali? There we are. Look at that. Young specimens. You can see the size there. Not too close, because I don't want him knocking him off with his head like he did last time. Not too close, Ali. Don't knock them down with your head. If we get right down with it, yeah. Can you see it? Oh, I headed it off, nearly knocked it off with my head. Can you see him? There we are, a young specimen. And again, it's got that, that glow-in-the-dark look about it. There's all your cat remnants, your veil rem uh, the veil remnants. Okay, beautiful glow. If we dug deep down, you'd be able to see that it's coming out, growing out of a bulb. Back to me. The false death cap, people. The false death cap. Thank you very much. I'm a happy man.